In this short video we're going to show how to configure Vault to use the event viewer to log the jobs being processed by the job processor client. Firstly, let's check in a small inventor drawing and part file and send the DWF create tasks to the job server to verify that the job processor is working correctly and that the jobs are not already being tracked in event viewer. Let's check as well that the job processor is processing the DWF create task by pausing and starting it. There they are. If we look at the event viewer and refresh the application log, we can see there are currently no entries for the job processor. This confirms that the job processor DWF create tasks are running correctly and are not currently being tracked in the event viewer. To configure the job processor to log the jobs in the event viewer, you need to edit the logging underscore job processor dot config file in the install directory of the vault client that's being used and you'll find it in the explorer subfolder. Once you've found the config file, the first thing to do is to make a copy. This is important. If a mistake is made, the only way to fix it may be to uninstall and reinstall the vault client, which could be frustrating and waste a few valuable minutes. The next thing to do is to edit the logging underscore job processor config file in Notepad or another text editor like Notepad++. Never use a word processor such as Word as that will format the file in such a way that it effectively corrupts it and you have to revert to the copy you made earlier, which you hopefully did. Once the file is open in your text editor, search for the term event log listener. There will be 11 occurrences of event log listener. Ignore the first one as this is simply calling out later entries in the config file. But once you've found the next entry, you'll notice that it's located under category sources and listeners and it's commented out. The comments need to be made active by removing the uncomments. You can do this very simply in Notepad++ by using the replace function and selecting the complete phrase. Copy that into both the find what and replace with fields, then click replace. You could click replace all, but it's good to see what's happening. So I prefer to just click on replace and do it one by one. The next thing to look for is the source definition enterprise library logging. Changing the source value will define what text is presented in the event viewer in the source column, which of course can then be filtered upon. So I'm going to change it to Autodesk JP or Job Processor. Uh, you can type whatever you want, but I would suggest to keep it simple and relevant. And that's all that needs to be changed in the config file. So let's save the file. 
The next thing that we need to do is stop and start the job processor client at least once as a Windows user who has administrative rights on the local machine. If you're not a local administrator then you need to right click on the job processor icon and run as administrator and then enter the credentials as necessary. Now we just need to check that everything is working correctly so I'm going to go ahead and delete the files we vaulted at the start and re-add them and let's see what happens. Check in the files. There they go. Stop and start the job processor. There they are. Just wait for them to finish. And now you can see that the job processor events are being captured correctly in the event viewer. And we can see we've got an error. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it looks like I forgot to configure the default inventor project file. So thank you for your attention. I hope that you found this movie helpful.